hi guys how are you doing i know it's been a minute but honestly if you watched my last video i mentioned that recently i had the baby and so i've been trying to get a hang of the mommy thing and all of that <laughs> it's not been so easy but thank god we're winging it and you know at least it's getting better i might not really be putting out videos consistently but i will do my best to um, you know, bring out videos as needed. Not a licensed immigration consultant. I like to share my opinion based on research. And on this channel, I film about my faith, career, lifestyle, and some immigration tips. You are very welcome. Lest I forget, my name is Kenny. <laughs> You're welcome to my channel. Oh, subscribe, please. Endeavor to subscribe. It will definitely go a long way in helping this channel. L smash the like button and drop a comment. <laughs> about visitors to work permit conversion all you need to know about I it. have gotten so much questions on that like I understand that a lot of people want to jump totally fine you're one of my great country and then you're wondering if you could come in as a visitor and convert to work permits so I'm just going to be giving you all that you need to know about this. I'm not going to mix any words and I'm just going to make sure that I'm as clear as possible. You come into Canada as a visitor and that is great. Um, a visitor is allowed to stay six months at a stretch, you know, at once in Canada. So it, that means if you're giving a two years work permit, a two years visitor's visa, I meant to say, um, you can only spend like six months out of the two years. In the period of the two years, in the period of the six months, you're thinking of, okay, can I just convert to work permit or is it that easy? Guys, honestly, it is not easy to convert to work permit. It is possible. Don't get me wrong. With God, all things are possible, right? Like, it is very possible to do that, but it is not easy. It's not as easy as it sounds or as easy as it looks on on paper so the first thing is that as a visitor you need to get an employer the truth is that a lot of um, employers don't really like to take foreigners and that's because they need to prove to the government that um, they are not able to get um, a locally trained person in Canada and so they try to like give reasons why they want to hire a foreigner that is a visitor so if you come in as a visitor and then you have like six months to spend visiting Canada and then you're like, okay, this is my intention to convert to work permit. You need to get an employer. That is the first thing. Now, if you are able to get an employer, the employer would, you would be on a close to work permit with that employer. The employer would hire you and then you'll be close to that employer for the period of two years. But the major question here or the big question here is how easy is it to get an employer? you know how easy is it to get an employer there are so many reasons why an employer might not want to you know hire a foreigner the first thing is like i mentioned previously they would want to prove to the um, government that um they are not able to hire somebody in canada so this might be a little bit difficult process for um the for the employer and the employers that really want to do it they need to go through what is called an lmia that's the labor market impact assessment so they go through that assessment they submit an application that they are willing to hire you to work with them and then that period can take a little bit between four to six weeks for the lmia to you know be processed and it could even be more you know depends on the workload as it is so after that then you would now be eligible to apply for a close to work permit and so the close work permit would also take about two to three months depending on the processing time the work permit can take between two to three months um it depends on um the workload with immigration right like it's not but that is an estimate of what the processing time can be it's not just automatic the reason for this video is just to let you know that it's not so straightforward like you know i've gotten dms and you know questions like oh can i just come and i'll just convert like that yes it is possible but is it easy no it is totally not easy another thing is you need to be very patient so if you're someone that you feel like oh you, you just want to get it in a rush or you are having a target to meet you need to be very patient you know while you are waiting for all of these processes to to take place but the most important thing i would say here in this video is there is a possibility for this but in all make sure that you are making your research make sure that you are before you leave your country or before you start that process of thinking of you know converting or conversion you have done your you have done your due diligence 
um, by applying to jobs so there are websites that you can go on to to check for jobs or opportunities even before you start this process one of which is job bank career all and you know there are so many websites that you can actually try to um, apply for jobs and to see how you can get opportunities on them i'm going to put them down in the description box so just do well to check to see if there is an opportunity for you to do this make research about this thing don't just come and just expect magic <laughs> so yeah i just feel like i should put this out there to make i'm sure that we are very much aware of what we are going into or what you want to go into so the fact is it is possible but it is not as easy as it as it sounds thank you so much for watching please don't forget to like this video comment down below if you have not and hit that subscribe button also turn on your post notifications so that whenever i post you are aware thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one bye